Go ahead. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Yeah. Got the stream going tonight. Man, it has been a long day for me. A uh, fun day, but a long one. And uh, of course, I have Miss Trouble with me. Hello, my dear. Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Uh, yeah, tonight is going to be a little different. It's going to be a chill stream. We're going to be doing uh, hangar reviews. So really just uh, chilling and, and talking about stuff. Going to try to give some advice, talk about some other stuff in the game, and just do that. Um, and uh, I'm going to go into like how we do the hangar review stuff in a minute. Um, but yeah, uh, I see <laughs> I see Sentry is saying I could take the night off, which is which is true. Yes, you can chill this one just like we're chilling. Um, last stream was a bit longer, and I want to try to keep this one to about an hour because I got to bed late last time because um, I'm a I'm an old man. So we'll uh, we'll get into the the hangar review stuff and try to answer questions in between and and you know just check everything out. Uh, so I have a couple things I was going to talk about, but this is how it's going to work with the hangar stuff because I want to explain it so you guys can start and then I'll talk about a couple other things that have happened in the game. Um, yeah, and some people were saying that Nick, uh, uh, Mayer's name is also Nick. Yeah, they were asking me what my name is in chat. My name's Nick. Sorry. Okay, so what I'm going to do in a couple seconds here is I'm going to say go and then you guys can leave your IDs if you would like me to review your hangar, all right? Don't start just yet, but we're gonna take them from chat so it'll be from live people. Uh, that way we can you know, engage with people if they have questions and stuff. Um, so when I say go in a second, sorry, not that one, uh, leave your IDs, <laughs> we will take the first 20 and then I will pick from them. I got this number wheel set up where we're gonna, whoops, wrong window. All right, that was just my uh, no. Don't look behind the curtain. No, I'm just kidding. That was just Discord. <laughs> um, this is <laughs> this is my number wheel. Uh, so we'll use this for um, you know picking those numbers and stuff like that. I plan to do ten uh, hangers, and then if we have time, I might do a couple more. That's why I'm gonna take twenty numbers, but that way um, we'll get it going. All right. So are you guys ready? So I'm gonna Wait, do it. So okay, make sorry. sure show them how to get their ID number. Oh, okay. Good point. All right. So if you don't know how to get your ID number, if you click up here on your icon, mine is that little hooded guy, you will see your name and then your ID is right below it. You can tap it there to copy it and then paste it in chat. Um, or if you are you have a different device, you can type it out. All right. So if you want to type it out now to get it prepared, you can. All right. But here we go. I'm going to give you, a, is it, was that all we should say, Miss Treble? Were you going to say something yeah, else? Yeah, so don't send it until he says go, guys. All right, just they wait. They won't be counted. They're, when I say go, then we're going to count them, so don't send them too soon, okay? I'm already starting to see him in chat. Just wait. Wait. All right. Well, right. I'll, I'll give you, I'll start doing the countdown, though, just so that we can do. So we'll do three, two, one, go. All right, so that's where we'll start taking them from. I hope that helped you, uh, Miss Treble. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get all of those. Goodness. <laughs> you know, you I was wondering said, Whoa. I was wondering if we were going to be able to get them quick enough or if we were going to like say, oh, I'll talk about a couple things before we can get 20. But holy cow, we got our 20. Uh, I'm hoping this will be for people that actually need the help. But if there are some that are the high end hangers, we can talk about those as well for different people. Um, who want to do that as well? Uh, <laughs> Jay, Jay Max was saying, and Scape, that was, what's that? Like, <laughs> what just happened? Um, I, a whole bunch of people put theirs in for, uh, some of us, it's hiding it in the chat. Um, just based on like how, um, uh, YouTube does that. Because if you put your ID in for some, the number string is similar to a, a phone number. So they don't want everyone to just see your phone number. So it's protecting for you, but I can see them. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> Norea said, good luck, Scape. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not going to do that many. No way. <laughs> we're only going to take 20. Uh, we're not going to do that many. Oh my gosh. If we did that, I would, I would have the longest stream ever. And I can't do that. I think I did a hangar and review. Didn't we do the hangar review the first time live? And it was like three hours. I think it was. I really don't know. It was it was really long. It was really and, long, yeah. and I felt like we didn't even make a chunk in it. So I had to put a cap this time. Um, and if I do this in the future, maybe I'll do it with a video or something like that. But 
Um, I know this is always a fun thing to do, and it's been a little while since we did it, and Miss Treble thought, you know, we should do that tonight. It'd be fun. So um, that's what we're going to try to do here, of course. But I think <laughs> as Miss Treble is trying to get some of these numbers down, so we have our list of 20, there was one thing I was going to talk about because everybody was mentioning this. Um, so I figure it's worth bringing it up, right? So, so gonna... also just real quick. Oh, go ahead. Um, also, think of a question or two that you have specifically about your hanger. Um, like if you should do this or that, if you should change something, mm -hmm. if you should um, upgrade the rank of something. Make sure you have all those questions ready because when he gets to you, um, we'll ask you what your questions are and then um, put those in the chat for us. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, if you have a specific question when we look at yours. Um, <laughs> Bag of Soup said, I opened Pandora's box with that one. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, and it's Kaz is just asking how long it's gonna be. Yeah, but I'm gonna try to keep it to an hour. Um, so we'll see what we can fit in there. I'll try to be quick with the hangar reviews. I usually talk too much, so I'll make it fast. But before we do that, while Miss Treble is getting numbers down, how you doing with that, by the way, dear? Doing, have... doing fine. Okay. So I, I can't see anything that's happening currently, but yeah. So if you're still leaving your IDs, you're it's probably a little too late. Sorry. <laughs> but um, you know, if you guys have questions too, I'm sorry. We should say this when we are reviewing your hanger. If you want to drop it then, because I don't know if we're going to be able to go back up in chat to find yours. So um, when we get to your hanger and we can say your name when we start. If you want to leave your question then, that'll probably make it easy for us to see it. All right. So hope that that helps. But while we're still getting the last few in the list for Miss Trouble, I was just going to talk about this real quick. As everybody's been noting, we got one of our, oops, that was my own ID. I forgot I copied and pasted. I forgot what the number was that I had then. I had a different number for uh, a certain ID I was going to look at. And I don't remember what that is. So I got to go find it now. Is it the thing that's been all over? Yeah, yeah. I just um, couldn't remember what it was offhand. I got it now. I just could oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah, I had it copy and pasted, and then I, I copy and pasted my own ID for the example. <laughs> so now it's telling me, like, this is you. All right, so everybody has probably seen this guy's name, Slanto. If, if you say that, I don't know if that's how you say it, but because he has Stalker, right? This is the crazy thing. Everybody's like, how did this dude get Stalker? Because I was wondering the same thing, and uh, I asked the developers about this. So this is something they did not make clear before with the whole uh, Mechs Are Here event. This is attached to that. So the 10 legendary winners are not only getting a crate, not only getting a chance to go to the tournament, but they're also getting the Stalker Mech. So this is one of those winners. So there should be, there's potentially 10 of these floating around. Um, I don't think they've picked all 10, though. So... Um, I don't know how many people have it out there, but I mean, if we look at this, we can see that it's going to be a, a rare, uh, that it's going to end up having a full capacity of 24. It's a medium mech, which we we, we already knew pretty much. Um, we get to see its HP levels, which looks like they're around like Paragon, Panther, um, Lancer type level. Uh, its speed is pretty similar to Panther, a little bit faster. Uh, his ability nine seconds cooldown nine seconds i don't know if like when you hit his ability it starts the cooldown right away i'm guessing since it has an active time the cooldown time starts afterwards so that means nine seconds on nine seconds off um bonus damage is 50 percent, but the incoming damage is only 25 yeah so i mean this is this looks actually pretty good i think this is a gonna be a good mech for me it feels like almost a brick house replacement where it's gonna be faster it's gonna have some benefits Maybe not as tanky and not benefiting your your teammates, but one where you can benefit from it. So if you're using like javelins or rocket mortars, this can be really effective at pounding in the extra damage. Um, you know, so I, I could see this being very effective top end. Uh, interesting one to play with, one I want to see. So yeah, I, I thought that was really cool. And like I was saying to Miss Trouble, though, one thing I still don't get with this whole event is why it had to be US only. I get it for like for the travel element of the event. But when we're talking about the in-game digital stuff, like the 100 epic winners that get crates and then these 10 winners, why can't they say in other areas, in, in India, in UK, they'll have 100 epic winners and then the 10 legendary winners, maybe if they don't even send them the crate, they get stalker. I mean, that's what everybody wants anyways. So I just don't get why the digital element has to only be in the US as well. I feel like that's unfair. So I don't know. I, I thought that was kind of a bummer, but at the same time, 
cool to see it. I don't know. I do feel like that means that since Stalker is ready, we're likely going to see him soon. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we as the content partners get uh, test server access soon and hopefully get to play with him. And then he ends up live in the game uh, shortly after that. So I'm hoping that before Christmas, we're going to see the Stalker in here. I think that's very possible, but I don't know for sure. We'll see. But that's all I was going to say about it. Um, how you doing, Miss Trouble? Do we have our do we have our twenty? Almost. Uh, Almost. I just wanted to mention that um, if you decide that you really don't need advice from Scape and you want to back out and let somebody else go, um, let us know if we pick your name or whatever. Just because we really wanted this to be for people that really needed advice, not yeah. just to show off their max tangers right that's right. all <laughs> I, I do remember somebody at the beginning of this before the stream had started because i was looking at those comments oh that's not here anymore but it was somebody who was just saying like you know really this is something that they just they want to figure out how to get to end game meta fast as fast as they can uh and i understand that uh, and i want to give the advice that helps you get there fast i've actually started a couple uh secondary accounts um, just to kind of play early game, see what it's like, as well as like referral bonus stuff and whatnot I'm trying to do so that I can eventually get cryo jabs. It takes a long time to do, so it's not easy anyway. But, um, you know, in doing that process, there's definitely ways to do it good or as, as efficient as possible. And then ways that you can like somewhat slow your progress or like make the process, you know, different. I, I, I don't really think it's bad in one way or another, but I don't know just been interesting um, i'm ready to go okay all right i've got the first 20 here all right so you got them in order of 20 yeah all right sweet because i got i got our our spinner wheel here it's ready to go so we're gonna we're gonna make our first pick all right here we go it let me spin oh it's got noises and everything i wasn't ready for that sorry if that's loud is that too loud, Miss Trouble? You tell me. I don't know. I can't hear it. Oh, you can't. I only hear you. Oh, wow. Discord. Okay. <laughs> All, All right. right. This one Lucky is number, number eight. eight. Okay. All right. That is... Let me go back. The YouTube username was Fire Scorpion. Fire so, Scorpion. Okay. Yeah. So it's 218. It is loud. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm going to have to see if I can turn off the sound. Uh, I was trying to before, and I couldn't figure out how to. So I don't know where that is. I feel like it's got to be in here somewhere to turn it off. Sorry, guys. I might have to do something differently for that. Um, I'm sorry. I was just trying to see how to turn off the sound. I don't know if I can. Dang. Okay. Well, let's... Uh, I'm sorry. Let me put in the ID. Um, can you give me the ID then there for Fire Scorpion? Yeah. Yep, two one eight, eight four four. Okay, nine seven. Nine seven. And it is Fire Scorpion in game, fourteen fifty one. All right, nice. Okay, so you're actually in, in, similar to one of my IDs that I have right now, where you have like good good core stuff here of like you got disc launchers, which is great. You got the uh missile rack eight which is great um and then you got your yeah you got your kill shot and that kind of stuff um so good early game stuff right now you're probably at a point where guardian is available to you or close to if you just got the disc launchers on the progress path that's my guess um so that'll probably be your next objective of something to buy because that's like an end game mech to have um i would say too you probably want to get your uh kill shot soon up to four stars so that you can run the missile racks on it and and you're probably going to be cycling out arachno soon especially after you get guardian because that will cover most of your stuff um the only other one you're going to want then would be zephyr and that's a little further down the road and that would probably replace paragon i will say for most people in terms of like easy like it doesn't have to be everyone's hanger but i will say like Kill shot, Panther, Guardian, Zephyr, and then usually Ares if you want to tank, but that fifth slot is kind of like where it trades for everybody, is like the core of what you want. So you already got three of those guys. Guardian is probably your next one. And then, you know, a little ways down the road will be Zephyr. So that's where I would say you want to put your time. 
Um, I don't see anything in the chat for Fire Scorpion. I don't know if I missed it. Did you see? Oh, everybody said, uh, what mech should I get next? What should my next weapon load out? What should I upgrade first? All right, so I kind of covered that, right? A next one to get would be Guardian, in my opinion. Um, what should be your next weapon loadout? I would try to, since you're already familiar with the missile racks, I would get um, kill shot up to four star and get the missile rack eights on it. That's a at where you are until like probably 2,500-ish in SP. That is a pretty strong like loadout for like anybody in that range and it stays strong for that so it's just very fast at killing something so it means like any initial one-to-one -one encounter especially like when you're first dashing in for control points all that stuff super powerful uh and very fast too to get out of situations so very good um that that's what i would suggest though out of those all right so i'm gonna stop talking because i probably already talked enough about that one and we're gonna move on to the next one all right uh, yeah, I was just uh, mentioning in chat here, guys, please don't post your IDs anymore. We're very sorry, but we can't take any more. We just don't have time. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know how to turn this down. And please don't spam them, especially. Okay, this is what we're going to do then. I'm going to turn down the audio for like the music and this so it doesn't blast people's eardrums. Uh, but we're going to, could you mute the page? I tried to figure out there. how to, Oh, is there a way up on the top? You click you. Yeah. Up at the very top of the tab, there's a sound icon up in here at the very top of the nope. tab of your like screen normally. Yeah. I don't see it up here unless I'm missing it. I'm an old man. So, all right. I'm just going to turn down the audio for, for this just for right now. So I'm going to turn you down Miss trouble for now, but feel like if I turn it down, it'll be okay. Still going to be loud to me. Hopefully that's better. Okay. That was number 20. I'll bring you back up, Miss Trouble. There we go. All right. Lucky number 20. Uh, that's YouTuber named Saksham. And... Let me know when you're ready for their ID. Okay. Sorry, I was just looking in chat. Some people are asking about doing customs. I'm sorry for tonight. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna keep it really simple and do hanger stuff. I actually played a lot of games earlier on alt accounts, and I, I feel like I'm gamed out for the evening, and I also don't want to be too long in the stream. So, um, okay. I, I'm, I'm ready for the ID now. I'm sorry. All just right. Five, four, three. Five, four, three. Two, three, eight, six. Eight, six. All right, this is Vector F1. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, five, yep, four, looks three, right. two, three, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it says Saksham from Facebook. Yep, yep, he's one of my buddies on Facebook. All right, you got a pretty decent hanger already in terms of having like the um, uh, in uh, higher end stuff. You're already getting some into some of that because you got like a brick house, you got disc launcher eights. Yeah, um, I am curious how this hanger does overall for you. I will say, and I hate to, I'm, like, I'm not always saying. They have a question here. This. Oh, they do. Okay, good. Yep. All right. Upgrading MD to rank five or try getting more weapons for other mechs. Okay. For you, it depends on how much you're using MD as well as like how you play with it. I will say the absence of kill shot is surprising to me. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but not having that makes me wonder how you do for uh, when you're playing um, like CPC or something like that. This probably isn't the hanger you only use. I'm sure you switch stuff out. Maybe you have uh, a kill shot in other spots, but um, MD is a fun one and certainly good for getting to five stars uh, if you'd like to do that, but it's also expensive. So I would say that like uh, for me, my focus would first be on like your core mechs before you start getting into a light mech like this. Unless you have either a specific strategy or you play, like I know you're in the F1 clan. If you guys have other guys that do stuff and you do a lot of custom or clan matches or certain stuff and play together and you are the core healer guy, that's fine. That makes a lot of sense. So I can understand why you would focus on MD there, but it's just one that, um, you know, for what it does, as opposed to like the three or four core mechs, you know, uh, I wonder about that in terms of the uh, benefit or playability for you. But um, that's not to say MD is bad. I like MD a lot too. Um, your your Panther looks good in terms of the spot that you're in. Um, yeah, your, your Guardian, uh, cool build, fun build. I've done that one too, I like that. Nice mortar bot setup for Paragon. Um, and then yeah, Brick House is a, a nice filler, I'm sure in there. Um, but I would say, yeah, you're, you're probably at the point where 
you, like you said, you could either go for MD or more weapons. W based on where you are, and based on the amount of eight coins you'll probably need to save, there's like Carbine 12, there's uh, Disc Launcher 12. Well, it's not in the progress path, but when it is. Uh, Railgun, that kind of stuff. Maybe Arc Torrents, if you want to get that, um, would be like stuff I would be thinking of or after. I think you're going to need some of that, possibly more, before you get your MD up unless MD is like your main guy. Because otherwise you're gonna want those heavier weapons for your uh, Panther and your Guardian especially. Because without those, I think you start to lack a little. I love the long arm tens and they're great, but I think that because they're kind of specific in their role, they don't always give you all that you need for any map. Same kind of thing with rocket mortars. So I think that the flexibility that you get and the power that you get with carbine 12s and railgun cannot be missed, especially as you're creeping into late game. All right, I probably talked too much. I hope that was answering your question. So let's move on to the next one. All right, I'm gonna turn it back down. I hope that was better with the spin noise. So we're gonna try it again here. Next we got number 13. All right, Miss Treble, who do we got for number 13? The YouTuber name was Wow Player. And wow Player. The I yeah, the ID okay. is uh, 233 535 All right, I hope that's the right one. 233 535 All right, sounds like it's the right one. All right, a bit earlier game here, but decent. I mean, you're you're probably wondering maybe if you should get your other shot, your other slot, maybe. I don't know. Uh, did they have a question? Um, uh, not that I'm seeing. Not yet. If you're here, bud, if you got a question for me, let me know. But I will right. still wow, check out your player. hanger. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Yep. Guardian 20 over Aries 16. Buy and to do's. Um, if you have, well, really, it depends on what you guys, what you plan on putting on each of them, right? So if you want to get Guardian up to 20, what are you going to put on it when it's at 20? Is it just going to be extra, you know, boost in energy, but he's still going to run the dual missile racks? If you're going to just do that, then I think you'd want to move it to Aries because whenever you want to upgrade something, you want to make sure you have an ideal weapon set for it. Otherwise, you're not getting the benefit of the upgrade. And then, of course, when you're doing that, how is that going to shuffle the rest of your hangar, right? Because if you do something different on Guardian, like maybe you run a long arm 10 and an 8 on it. So then where do you put your missile racks? Do you put them on your Panther? Probably something like that. Um, or do you put them actually on kill shot, you know, cause then you, I don't know, actually that, that might be good. I mean, I, I guess that would be what I would do. If you did guardian, you could do a long arm eight ten. the missile racks could then go on kill shot and then the javelins would go on Aries just because I don't really think maybe that's just me that the plasma cannons are, are going to cut it a whole lot for where you are in the game right now. I've played at this level and guys who use this loadout for Aries usually don't they're not much of a threat to me <laughs> when i'm playing so i feel like it's probably just a backup mech setup for you right now and you might do something better than that um so that i guess would be my advice just because uh aries to me is a more important end game mech i'm sorry guardian to me is a more important end game mech than aries i do like aries for end game but it's usually a fifth slot or an optional type of mech whereas guardian i think is almost always uh good to do so i would upgrade that first and maybe try the shuffle i mentioned if that helps all right cool not not bad though good stuff though got the the core stuff there these are like i said four max that i would see as end game max the only other one that you would probably want then would be zephyr so solid choices for the hanger there all right um let's go back to our spinny wheel i don't think i actually was taking out the numbers that we had so if we get a duplicate I'll uh I'll have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Number five. 
That's not too bad. Haven't gotten any duplicates yet. All right, that's <laughs> uh, uh, YouTube name Sir Jacob. Sir Jacob. All right, Sir Jacob. Oh, whoops. Let's go back. There we go. All right, what's your ID, Mr. Sir Jacob? If you have a question, you can leave it. 187-627-69. There it is, Sir Jacob. 19, you're close to where we are in mid-game, right? So, good, good, good. Yeah, you have your... Oh, you got the Missile Rack, too. The, the Missile Rack 12, which is nice. Good deal. Yeah, this is this is not bad. I mean, what you have right now is is probably already feeling like good and pretty strong. Um, the shadow one looks even decent. Uh, looks like you got a, a pretty solid core. Um, I don't know if you have any special questions though. Did you see any Miss Trouble? I am. Yes. Okay. What to put on Zephyr at the beginning stage? Uh, okay, when he is at sixteen energy. Uh, I do have a video on him for best loadouts. One of my favorites at 16 energy is just dual missile rack eight, just because I think it's, it's lets you get really comfortable with them. Easy to do hit and runs, plenty of time to freeze, get in the position you want to hit the target and then back away if they're still alive. It's just uh, the most flexible at that stage. However, what I do like the most on him um, after I upgrade him a little is the dual arc tens. Obviously that's after you get some upgrades cause it'll be 20 energy. Um, but otherwise, yeah, at 16 energy, you could also do if you already have the arc 10 um, and maybe the Well, you do have the arc six, I, as I can see. Is that an arc 10 and six? No, it's just a dual six. OK, so you could do like a 10 and a six and that would be really good for him doing that ambusher style. But uh, I say the missile rack eight is probably the best one to put on him first to get really comfortable with it. That's my favorite for sure. But otherwise, yeah, man, you got a lot of the core stuff. I, I'm curious to see uh, what you plan to make or take out of your slot, your fifth slot for Air or for Zephyr to come in. Would that be areas or would that be shadow for you? Because I think both of those are viable as your fifth option, um, depending on which one you, you decide to take out. Probably varies depending on the map and the situation. Um, I did see Skyhawk said before that he would, I would be surprised by his hanger since he doesn't have kill shot. But you have shadow, which is a good, good font camper, good like speed mech. Um, MD isn't exactly that. So that's why I was just thinking like this hanger is kind of slow. But like I said, it depends on how you play and it depends on who you play with. If you have other guys who are the more aggressive that you play with, um, since the other guy was in a clan, then that makes sense. So, yeah. Um, oh, Sir Jacob, my Zephyr is only eight. Oh, so you just got the Zephyr. I'm sorry. You Then you must have bought it early so that it only has eight energy. Yeah, that's one thing I wasn't prepared for when I did the... Um, when I did the best loadouts video, because they hadn't changed the star rankings yet. So kind of messed me up. But um, at eight energy, that is tough. I would say if, if it were me, I guess, and I had it, I would have probably put dual shotgun fours on it. But for where you are in the game, dual shotgun fours is probably not going to do a ton. So I don't know what I'd put on it at eight energy. I, I'd probably, given what you have in your hangar, I would probably keep your hangar as is. And then as you get some more stuff to rank up Zephyr, you, you know, get them to like 12 energy where you can at least put like dual arc sixes on and you may be able to kill some medium or small mechs uh, once you freeze them. But at eight energy, yeah, that's a tough spot to be in. That's a really low energy cap based on where you are in game right now. So if you bought him and you already got him, that's nice, but you may want to just like sideline him until you can get some more blueprints to be able to level him up a bit. All right. Um, <laughs> bag of soup, tell him to put... Torrent, torrent six and a thermal two on it. Yeah, you could. Yeah, I, I don't know if it would do much. <laughs> I think that's going to be too weak, but, uh, but yeah, I hope that was helpful. There we go. All right, let's move on. I'm gonna go over to pick a new one. Let's try it here. I hope I'm putting the sound low enough. This does sound loud in my ears. I hope it's okay for you guys at this point, as I've been bringing it down. All right, number 11. Number 11, that's the YouTuber named Jabir Nana. All right. 
Jabir, if you want to, if you got a comment, you can leave for us. Uh, we will check you out. All right. Um, what is that ID, Miss Trouble? Okay, it is two one zero five three four three four. Oh, three four. Five three four three four. And I'm currently trying to type out all the IDs so you guys can see who they are. So give me a second. <laughs> Please stop spamming your IDs, guys. We cannot take any more. Yes, Listen. Sorry. We talked all day long about the the best way to do this, the most fair way to do this. Yes. We and did. we went back and forth on it all day. And unfortunately, this is all we could come up with because we knew we could only fit about 10 because it would take so long. So it does. It takes a while if we want to do it. This was the fairest way. way we could think of. <clears throat> um, so I'm sorry. <laughs> we I wish know. we could do every single one of you. I, I mean, I would. Um, I plan to do more hangar reviews in the future, but it's just hard to be able to do everyone. So, you know, like I said, the first time I tried to do it, uh, it was a bad idea. Uh, I mean, in terms of trying to just do all of it, because it was like, I, like I said, it was way longer than we expected. We didn't even hit a chunk in it. We still had a huge list of IDs afterwards that I used for another video later. So there's just yeah. so many to do. We just had no idea so many people would want, yeah, you know, advice. You know, but I was hey, actually surprised it. at our, our poll for this one. It was like 90% where people were in favor of it, and like 600 people or so voted, and and most people wanted a hangar review for tonight. So. You know, it's cool. I'm glad that everybody loves that. I, I, you know, I like doing it. So I did see that Jabir did comment. He said, should I invest in my Cheetah or my Ares? Also, should I upgrade my Railgun to rank five or Arc to rank five? All right. Yeah, you're starting to get into to end game here. Um, or at least you have like the core stuff you would want for end game, right? So um, yeah, you're basically asking which one should I be upgrading for my next mech or my next weapon? Um, part of that may depend on where your prints fall, right? And what you plan on doing. Uh, as a fifth mech, your Ares or Cheetah are, are good options. I'll say that, you know. Um, I will say I prefer having Ares just because I like being able to use the higher caliber weapons. But Cheetah is no joke now, guys. Like, he's a pretty solid mech. When you get him to end game, his mines are devastating. So I've seen some people do some awesome stuff with, with Cheetah end game, um, which is crazy. And and he can even take a, a dash to the face from a max kill shot and still be able to poop out some mines right at him and, and be able to like kill the, you know, the guy who just dashed him. It's crazy. Uh, so like he's, he can be good. Uh, I will say I feel still like he has certain limitations um, in terms of like, how he can actually perform in battle, especially because he's limited in what he can carry. But I think he's viable. I think it just depends on like you, your play style, again, what, what you like and what your clan likes, because I see you're in Void. Um, so, you know, that's that's hard. I think it's probably going to be situational. Like there's going to be, there's obviously there's certain maps that Cheetah does really well on, other ones he doesn't. Same kind of thing for Ares, especially depending on the loadout you do. Um, so that may be the deciding factor for you between which one you focus on at certain times. Uh, I think having a option for both later on is probably a good idea. I would think Ares though is a more like traditional one if you're just trying to decide which one to do first. But I think doing both is is not a bad idea if you want to have that ability. And then in terms of weapons, I will say once you're getting to end game, dual rail guns or having two rail guns in your hangar, even if it's not dual on a guy, is a big plus. I see like everyone having that end game. So that is definitely for sure what I would would say is a need. Uh, the Arc 10, you don't have to have dual copies of, but I think dual copies of it is great. I use dual copies of it on my uh, Zephyr a lot. Um, so that is certainly a good option. I just think the railgun is a bit more important um, in terms of getting it up there so you have two copies. So, all right. I've talked enough on that one. I'm sorry, but that, I hope that was helpful. That's Those are the, the thoughts I have on that, but good hanger, good stuff, man. That's good. All right. Uh, I'm going to bring it back down so we can move on to the next one here. I don't remember what numbers I've picked so far. Miss Treble, you have to tell me if we get the same one again. <laughs> okay. Well, we didn't do 15, so let's do 15 then. 
Oh, it is. <laughs> Does he actually need it? I thought he said he would bow out. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, what if I what if I don't uh, bring up your hanger bag, but we just... Well, I can bring it up, but I can answer your question. So why don't you give it to me anyway, Miss Treble? But I'll try to answer them quick so we can move on sure. while we're waiting for him to comment. I do know he runs a pretty mean... Uh, um, MD. He doesn't have it in his hanger right now. He's got he's got the fire hanger. <laughs> I see that going on. That's cool though. See, he's he's getting there to the end game, right? Where he has that uh, he has the dual rail guns, all that stuff. Oh, where where will I add in missile info with launch results? And should I put two rail guns together? How do I go from thirty five hundred to the four thousand forty five hundred? Yeah, yeah. Good question. Um, uh, this is where everybody wants to know end game. In terms of what you have for like, uh, like your Zephyr, for me, I feel like is pretty well set. It's a it's a build I use at end game, so that one I wouldn't worry about. Um, the Guardian, the Panther, and the Redox are the ones where it's questionable, right? Um, one of these two, I would say Guardian or Panther, is usually where I would say dual railgun goes. If you're gonna do that. I like it. I, I see a lot of people using it. I use it on my Panther, but I've been trying to play with a little bit more on my Guardian. It can be really effective there. Um, the dual carbines can be great on Guardian still, even though that's not really maximizing his energy. And then I would say, like at least from what I see of people, um, the dual Missile Rack 12 might do well on Redox, just so that he can get really solid damage in there. He can do it as an ambusher, right? So he can use his ability to slow them up to make sure all those rockets hit, or he can do it from a little bit further away or peek out or something like that. So uh, I think that that's a solid build to do with him. I've also seen dual rail on him, but I just think one of the other guys can do it better just because Panther has more protection. Guardian has more health. Um, I'd hate it for people to lose the dual rail gun so quickly. And Redox is a little bit squishier. So I think the dual... 12s on him um dual missile rack 12s work well on him and then the dual disc launcher 12s depending on what you do with your carbines could flip between kill shot or guardian as you get close to max because i've seen dual uh disc launcher 12s work super good on kill shot um as well as carbines and same kind of thing for guardian too the other thing to consider for you if you want it would be rocket mortar 12 that's the other one that i also uh like but yeah, I think that that's another great build to have as you start playing against real players end game. Having somebody who plays rocket mortars on the team is a big plus. So um, yeah, oh, and he just said, I was thinking the similar scape. Thanks. I have seen dual railgun on Panther or Redux, but agreed. Maybe dual. Yeah, um, I haven't. I don't see a ton of of uh, Redux users unless it's for specific maps. Usually, what is that one? Acropolis, I think the indoor one that has like the the. Um, all the ramps that go down to it, like a center courtyard. <clears throat> That's where I see Redox the most, just because he can be the most effective there. On there, I've seen a mixture. I've seen a mixture. I see dual rail guns on that one. Um, and I've seen, I haven't, well, because Missile Rack 12s are new, I haven't seen many people doing it, but I have heard people mention about doing that. So that's why I mention it. Um, so it's a, it's a potential one uh, that I think can play well there. So, yeah. <clears throat> oh, they can't? No. Oh, yeah. The I did. Turned back up. I did. Okay, now you're back up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but now I'm going to have to put you down because I got to go on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. What was the point? All right. At least you can hear me, but they couldn't. Yeah, yeah, sorry. You'll have to just tell me to, to turn you up. Say, like, hey, escape, stupid, turn me up or something um, for each time. <laughs> all right, let's <laughs> let's go back. Oh, no, not at all. I am not trying to shut up Miss Treble, that's for sure. Uh, number four. Okay, we can do that. Turn me back up. Yep, you're back up. Okay, that's Sheesh King. Sheesh King. And fortunately, they corrected my error in their ID number. So I've got it correct now. Oh, we had the wrong ID? 
Yeah, I had a seven instead of a one, so. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, so it is one one seven. Seven nine five. Three three. And that's P O G Panda for this one. And you're right at mid game, like the the I guess I would say like the middle of mid game, somewhere in there. I don't know. It's hard for me to tell where mid game is now since everything changed. Mid game used to be like a thousand to two thousand, and now I feel like it's shifted further down to like maybe fourteen, fifteen hundred to like maybe twenty five ish hundred. I don't know, but yeah, you're you're in the mid game area. So, um, but you got some solid stuff here. Yeah, I see the the dual misdirect twelve kill shot. Exactly what I would expect in this area. That's good. This one's an interesting one. I've seen more people run this on their Zephyr. For me, I feel like it doesn't play the ambushing role as well but it's a much safer role like where you could shoot from further away and then if people bunch up you could actually get some good aoe damage in there um so that's an interesting one but curious to hear how that works for you um it's not one that i think is bad i just haven't run it much uh the guardian build nice support build there uh-huh and then the panther one we got the dual stasis eights which is surprising. I, I'm curious to see how that one runs for you too. I have not run the Stasis H much yet because people are asking me that I should do a video on it. They want to know if it's worth doing it. It's hard for me to say yet because I have it on just my main account and that's the only one. And at that point, like with no blueprints, it's only three stars. So for right now it sucks, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means for where I have it, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, for high level gameplay, it's not doing too yeah. much. Yeah. So you have some interesting builds here. Um, nothing looks necessarily bad. I just think it's different than like the things I would normally think of right away, which is cool. It's creative. Um, uh, did you see a question from our? I'm looking for it. I don't see one yet. I didn't uh, Sheesh King, did you have a question? Hmm. I wasn't seeing it either. I didn't know if I missed it. Uh, oh. Okay. Well, I hope, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what you want me to say. Maybe I could just give some general advice then. So, like, you have the core mechs in here, and then you have your optional five already of Cheetah. So you already have a solid, like, five mechs. It's really just deciding on, like, what you get next, what you focus on, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't see long arms in here, so that's a question. Like, if you, if you don't think long arms work really well for you, which is fine. Uh, that's just another question as to a weapon that I would sometimes see even at this point in the game. Um, have you gotten the Arc 10 yet? Or do you plan on getting that? Uh, and what is going to be your next get, right? Because you already got a lot of the core stuff that you would want. It looks like to me you're probably just focusing on upgrading and then like getting the top end stuff, right? Uh, because you're going to want to get uh, your rail guns, your carbines, that kind of stuff. But Arc 10 would be another one that might be the next stepping stone for you um but yeah i hope that helps i i didn't see a question for you so i just kind of did some general conversation about your hanger but hey cool stuff all right i'm gonna move on all right i'm gonna turn you down for a minute miss trouble so we can spin again Let's see. <laughs> I see, uh, what is it? Keanu? Keep trying to rickroll me in the chat. <laughs> I have had, I, I did have somebody the other day. You know, it's funny. After you do this for a little bit with this YouTube kind of stuff, you have a lot of people that will just send you messages, which is fine. I, I love talking to people. But somebody just sent me a random link. And they were like, you should check this guy out. He has this mech or whatever. And I'm like thinking, I don't want to just click on a random link, dude. Can you just send me his hanger? He's like, I was just trying to mess with you. It was a Rick roll. <laughs> it was funny though, but I'm just like, I'm sorry. I don't want to just click on a random link. So kind of glad I didn't. <laughs> oh, sorry. I got to turn you back up. Yes. All right. Yes. You're back up. I'm sorry. All right. That yeah. was number 10. Matt Baldwin. Matt Baldwin had told everybody in chat to type the lyrics to never going to give you up. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice. So people started doing it. That's funny. <laughs> a, a pseudo Rick roll. Okay, so nice number stuff. 10. It was lucky player or YouTuber named Dumpling Eskimo. 
Ooh. All right, so their ID is 263-746-93. Guys, in chat, I'm just chasing all these oh, ID wow. numbers. Please, please stop posting your ID <laughs> numbers. Please, I'm begging you. We can't take we any can't, more IDs. I'm not. I can't write any of these down. We're not gonna take Sorry. any more. Not this tonight. Is, yeah, this is where like something like this becomes a bad idea. Sorry. I do. Yeah, see dumpling don't make Eskimos. us not want to do this again. I know. <laughs> I want to help you guys. All right, dumpling we do. Eskimo. Uh, which weapons should I use or save for on kill shot based on an aggressive dash in and dash out fast damage style of gameplay? Great question. But where you are right now, because you are at four stars, best, in my opinion, at that stage is the dual missile rack eight. That is where, like, you find your target. You can even, like, shoot your missiles as you're dashing and hopefully just, boom, they're dead. I see a lot of people do that. Uh, it's really good for doing that, and I would suggest it at this point. What you have right now is more of a safer build, right? Where you, this is kind of what the AI does, where they start shooting at you from further away, and then as they close the gap, they dash at you, which isn't bad, but it's not one that's more of, like, you know, insta-kill or like super burst damage like it sounds like you want for that aggressive build. So I would put the dual missile rack eights on yours for sure. Then the question is, yeah, where are you putting your um, carbine eights? Uh, the Ares might be a good option for that once you get it up there a little bit in power. Um, you could also maybe put it on your, your Panther or your Guardian if you still wanted to do those. I would say it ends up being a weapon that could float between these depending on where you are. I, I would say, actually, you could probably put it on the Panther, right? Because I'm guessing with them being a five-star... Oh, actually, they're only three-star right now. Okay. So, I don't know. I mean, it depends on what you want to do with that. So, carbines could go there, or you could keep your long arms on there. Just probably switch it up depending on the map. But yeah, I would say the Missile Rack 8s. If you don't have those, definitely a good weapon to get. Great to have on Kill Shot. It takes a little bit of getting used to because, like, once you hit the fire button, they all go if you haven't used them yet. But a very good weapon for it. Probably the top build on Kill Shot until you get to, like, end game. So, very good and very aggressive build. All right. Nice, man. Good stuff. We're going to move yeah, on. Yeah, nice looking hanger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the all black, too. That's nice. Yeah, it's classy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dumpling Eskimo said, what weapons should I use for Arachnos and Guardian? Because they're only currently... Uh, they only Place currently have placeholder weapons. And I never really use them unless my other three mechs get destroyed. Oh, okay. Well, you on your Guardian, you had the Disc Launcher 8, which I actually have on mine. Um, I have my, my hangar on my alt account is like 1600 close to 17 so i'm only a little bit below you and the disc launcher 8 does really well for me um depending on the map so you know usually yeah i start with kill shot and then depending on the map especially with your case where you have the long arms on panther guardian might be a better option at least in my opinion for those two um but if you play the camper style of build then maybe you prefer doing Panther and then um, Arachnos. I will say, though, that Arachnos, even though he's probably okay for you right now, it's not going to do as well late game. Um, it's not one that I would suggest you invest too much into. It's not a bad mech, but I don't think it's as good as like other 32 energy-based mechs like Panther or Guardian. So it just may be something that you'll want to phase out. So if that that said, you may want to like start investing in other mechs to get to 16 energy or higher over Arachnos if you haven't yet. Um, most people consider Arachnos a backup and a nice early game mech, but after a certain point, he phases out. So, uh, so I don't know if that answers your question well enough, but that's just my opinion. Um, and what I think will probably be best for you long term. So I, I would focus more on Guardian and builds for him. The disc launcher is a great one, though. So I don't see anything wrong with it. All right. I hope that helps. All right. I'm going to move on, though. Just kind of want to take too much longer for each one. So I'm going to bring you back down. Yep, they said thank you. Okay, good. Good. I'm glad it helped. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell if I'm answering the question as best as somebody wants for what they're expecting to hear. Or if it, uh, you know, or if it does actually help. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right.
Number 17. All right, I'm bringing it back up. Was uh, YouTuber Astral Nico. Astral Nico. Okay, Astral, if you want to leave or a Neko. comment. Or Neko. Oh, Astral Neko. Oh, like for the, yeah, okay. If you want to leave uh, your question for us, that'd be great. We did get a super chat. Thank you. Um, I don't know if that's our tours. Our, our tours? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, does anyone know why the new robot being played is only in the USA? Why the others are separated? Great question. That's um. kind of what I was saying to begin with. Now, I, I guess you could say there's possible two reasons I would say why they're only doing it in the U.S. Uh, one would be because of COVID right now, it's hard for other people to travel over the border. Um, I actually know some people who are in the U.K. Uh, who wanted to well not come over for the event but they actually work for polarium and they were saying like they can't even come over for when they were doing the u.s based events because getting visas and all that kind of stuff is ridiculous right now so like trying to mm -hmm. figure out travel for people that probably might not even be able to do it is difficult and they kind of you know limit it that way uh as well as the fact i'm assuming i don't know for sure but i'm assuming their metrics show that the u.s base is what they're trying to build the most right now they, they have people who have known and played the game in the UK or in India much longer than the US, and they're trying to build that base up, which is why they focus there. It does feel unfair. I don't like it either, because I feel like there should at least be the digital elements that we have uh, for the epic and legendary elements that should go to the other areas of the world too. I don't see a good reason why it shouldn't, especially if it's all digital. But I don't know. That's just the way they chose to do it. But good question. I know I kind of already grazed it before, but all right, I'll, I'll go back up because we had uh, our question from Astral Nico. I see that. Um, and I'm sorry. Let's let's get his ID, get him up on screen here. Miss Treble, if you want to give that to me. Yes, uh, that is one nine three seven five seven six zero. BST Astral. Is that a clan? I don't know that one, Astro. That's cool, though. All right, 1,500. All right. And you had your question. I upgraded Javelin 8 to three stars. Should I put it on Panther or have it stay on Kill Shot and currently saving for Disc Launcher H? So where should I put the disc when I buy it or when I do get it bought? Yeah, good question. Uh, I will say that I know a lot of people love the, um, the Missile Rack 8 on Kill Shot. Uh, so that would be a good one if you're playing more aggressively, but there are a lot of people who do the keep away still the keep away build with kill shot using the javelin rack. So javelin rack eights, if it works really well for you for when you play, that's a great one to do. I would just say when you get onto certain maps and indoor maps, namely in tournament, um, you may want to change that build out, right? You're otherwise you're not really going to be able to hit much. So, you know, have other options for that, like with your juggernaut and your kill shot there. If you plan on using those in those styles of maps, you want to have other options. So that would be what I would say if you do that. Um, and currently you're saving for Disc Launcher 8. Where should you put that when you buy it? Uh, great question. So there's a lot of places you could put that. Your your Aries right now is only 3-star. Okay. So Panther would be a good option for it. Guardian would be, I would say, since you're going to be getting that, that's going to be 5-star. You probably don't need the Pulse Cannons. You know, I, I like the Pulse Cannons, but I used to, you know kind of say the pulse cannons were worth time if you weren't going to buy the carbine eights but now that we have the disc launcher and especially if you're saving for that you probably can just use that right here on guardian and replace that but it also works well on pretty much anything that you have in your hangar once you get to 16 it can be good on kill shot less aggressive but good good on panther um nice on aries too i i think on aries and guardian would probably be the best ones um if you plan on upgrading your aries anymore but yeah that would be uh that would be my thoughts for those things so yeah i would say the way you have kill shot right now good for cpc change it up for tdm if you need to for the map um then you know i might have to shuffle around your hangar a little bit more but there you go all right i have not gotten my uh javelin eights up to three star yet but i feel like they'll perform similarly to what the javelin sixes would at the same level a little bit better a little bit more consistent in its damage but pretty similar all right i got that one <laughs> i see someone has the name rick rolled and they said i need what? to say something so i'm wondering what they're gonna oh, say dear. i'm assuming it's just gonna be that they never have to give me up 
and they never want to let me down. <laughs> That's my guess. <laughs> I love it. I know. It's That's great. commitment. It is, man. To change your name. I love it. Great, guys. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Who's next? All right. Let's move on. All right, we're, we're close to hitting an hour here. We'll see how we do. We got number eight. Did we do eight already? We did eight already. All right, I'm going to remove that one, and we'll spin again. Oh, I think we did five too, right? Did we do five? I thought we yeah. did. Yeah. Okay. We're getting to that point where we're doing it. That's okay. That's fine. If we get duplicates, we'll just pass on them. Four. We did not do four, did we? Yes, we did. Oh, we did four? Okay. All right. We'll move that one too. <laughs> That's fine. No problem. <laughs> All right, 15. Is this one we did? did? that one, too. Okay. <laughs> we're going to get to the point. Have we done 10 already? And we're just going a little bit further? I think we're on 8. Oh, okay. So we're getting there. 11. We didn't do 11 yet, though, did we? I can't remember. Did. Oh my. Oh, okay. How many have we done? Goodness gracious. We haven't done eleven? I've been marking them all down. Oh, like how many we're nana? We did that one. Eleven? We did eleven? I think this is our tenth one. Okay. On. So we did number eleven though. Should I spin again? 11. Okay. All right, sorry. Miss Treble and I are talking if you can't hear. <laughs> she's she's low still in the volume. Okay. Number 19. We didn't do that one. All right. I'm going to remove it anyway, though, so I don't re-get it. I should have been doing that in the first place. Well, this is how I learned. Whoops. I hit the wrong button there. That was an old image. I Well, I, I just learned about this spinner before doing this, so this is new. <laughs> yeah. All right. Number 19 is... Rider game. All right. So, Rider, if you're here, you can leave us a question, but we'll put your ID in. Let's hear the ID, Miss Treble. Oh, All whoops. Right. I got to turn you back up. There we go. My bad. 221 Okay. And this is Rider Max, so I'm guessing that's the right guy. 1500 power. Nice. Okay. All right, so got some interesting stuff here. So we got your Aries. Got your kill shot. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for where you are, what you got on your kill shot is good. That's a good build. It's one I, I use on mine a lot of times. Your Aries is also good. Looks like you put some work into upgrading your RPG-6 which is cool. Um, and the build you got on uh, Panther, not bad for now. It's probably a little low, my guess, because it's only two star. So if you have other options, maybe a long arm, um, or if you have maybe the Missile Rack 8 would be a good one, I think, here, if you have that one. That, that would be the next thing I would be focusing on if you don't have that weapon. The Missile Rack 8 is a biggie at this point. Um, so uh, there's that. Your, you know, your, well, you got your long arms on your rack, no, so that's fine. They can stay there. I would just say Missile Rack 8 would be the next one to get on there. And the Shadow one is an interesting one. That's cool. I like that. Um, good for a fun slot there. I would say, yeah, so it's like the Missile Rack, uh, maybe the Disc Launcher 8s if you want to get that, and then Guardian are probably the next kind of things I would be focusing on. Um, did you see a specific question in there for him, uh, Miss Treble? No, not yet. Okay. All right. Well, I, I hope that was helpful, though. There's some general stuff. 
Those, that's my general advice to what to do, or at least the three things I think you should focus on next. Um, then beyond that, it's, it's really like upgrading a lot of the stuff you have. Uh, I would personally, though, I would hold off unless you really like RPGs over Missile Racks. I would hold off on upgrading the RPG 6 because at this point it's going to become cost prohibitive and kind of, I think, slow up your other progress of getting like other epic and other higher level weapons and stuff. So um, RPGs are great. I like them, but they are only six energy. So you got to start kind of creeping up into the higher energy weapons here at this point. So, yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Let's back out. And, uh, yeah, I'm wondering how many more we'll be able to get to pick here. Well, that was 10. That was 10? All right. We're mm -hmm. at an hour. How about I do two more? Let's do two more. How's that sound? Sounds good. Okay. All right, we'll do that. I'm going to turn you back down. I hope I got all the ones before that we had taken on the spin. But we'll see. All right, number 18. Do we do 18? No. Nope. Okay. Well, I'll take it out, and we'll do 18 now then. All right. Lucky number 18. <laughs> fighter good point escape says two more but he holds up four fingers i did it for both hands i meant two but i held up <laughs> good catch though good catch <laughs> all right <laughs> that's right she does all the the homeschooling stuff yeah she doesn't let me do any of it i understand why now <laughs> all right All right, Fazen, if you want to, if you have a question or a couple questions, feel free to start typing those in. But let's get that ID, Miss Trouble. Yeah, it is 153-839-47. Am I turned up? Oh, no, you're not. Sorry. I'll turn you back up. Fazen. Oh, he's doing the, uh, the color changing stuff. And he sent me a friend request. I appreciate it, dude, but I wish I could accept friends. I just, I don't have the space. So uh, send me one on Facebook if you can. All right. All right. So we got the kill shot here with the dual missile rack six. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, the javelin racks on the, you know, on the Zephyr. Interesting for sure. Got the Aries with the arc torrents. Nice. And the shadow here. Yeah, cool. This is interesting. So your your power level is a little higher than mine. But, um, you know, you have a little bit more, I feel like, invested uh, into some of the other mechs and stuff, which is good. But I worry about you just, like, going forward, right? You have some of the four and six energy weapons. And you need to start creeping up into the eight and a little bit higher here. Um, so, like, you know, I think that you're going to need to get your missile rack eights if you don't have them. That's a biggie. And then those can either go on Killshot or Zephyr. But since you already have Zephyr, it might be a good idea to put those on him. Uh, then your um, Ares could be another one you could focus on. I would think, though, that, you know, again, this is always treading similar ground, though. So, like, getting the Mr. Rack 8s, getting the, um, uh, the Disc Launcher 8s, and then getting the Guardian would be things that would be good for you to do. I have a feeling that, like, right now, you're probably okay but it's going to be very soon that you're going to start going up there in power level if you haven't already experienced it for where you are, that your six energy weapons are not going to cut it anymore. So your Arc Turn 6, your Missile Rack 6 are not going to kill stuff fast enough, especially with kill shot, right? I would imagine when you're trying to do the aggressive dash in where you're using all your missiles, you're killing some targets, but not all right now. And if that's the case, um, dual Missile Rack 8s is going to change that for you. That's a big one on kill shot for sure. But that would be uh, another thing I would say. Your Panther looks good, though. That one has got to be pretty strong for you because he's got some good setup with the, the 20 energy, long arm 8 and 10. Um, Shadow is probably a fun one, a good one for font, or for beacon capturing, but um, probably not cutting it for damage just because he's weaker. That's a hard one, though. I, I like Shadow a lot, but he's expensive to invest in. So it's just not one that I think is as feasible. Um, he would be the one I would say once you're able to get Guardian, you could take out for now. 
until you can upgrade him more. He's just very costly. Uh, so that's usually why I go that route because a lot of people worry about getting to end game and being ready for end game. And there's certain mechs that I find do that better as you're graduating up to higher energies. And some of them aren't as good at that at like certain pockets and then are better. Like they shine either super early or very late. Um, so until you get to that point, you want to be like ready for the current meta as well as like, you know, the, the long haul of the meta. So, um, that's why I usually say to hold off certain ones. But, yeah, I think overall you got, uh, I hope that gives you a path of what to do. And I didn't even look. I'm sorry, Miss Trouble. Did he leave a question and I just kept talking? <laughs> uh, I didn't see it, but okay. there's been a lot of spamming I'm trying to get under control. A lot of people really want to, uh, you know, Rick roll us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so let's see. <laughs> Fazan. I All right, it. if you're out there, pause on Aslan, let us know, give us your question. Oh, I did just scroll through and saw Honor was here. Hey, Honor. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Glad you popped in. Sorry if this one's boring for you. It's just a talking stream. I was very chilled today. <laughs> And just to mention, I see that Fazan has his uh, his in-game name like that with the adjustment to yes. the yeah. color, and we've seen all that. And um, oh, I did see you guys Fazen, he commented. Go ahead, sorry. Okay, great. I was just gonna say, be careful with that. We don't really recommend it. We don't want anybody's account getting banned for messing with things they shouldn't be messing with. Yeah, we don't especially know don't do the size one. Yeah, we don't know if they're doing any banning yet. Some people have speculated. I think it could be possible just because I don't think that's the intent. Um, I know that, you know, it's it's fun, but like we said, people can use it to exploit certain things, which is not good. So I have a feeling they're going to do something about that soon, but I don't really know what their plan is or if they're going to like put any kind of restrictions or do anything to people who have messed with their name change. So that's why I haven't done it, like as well as I, I don't want to, promote it if it's gonna you know be an exploit for people but anyway so uh Fawzen did ask what should i upgrade next kill shot or aries i would say kill shot first yeah definitely uh i would focus on him first just because he is definitely an end game mech i see in just about every hangar aries is usually in a bunch too but he's not quite as key i think as kill shot is for many people so I would get him up to four stars, get those Mr. Rack eights on him. That would be my, my immediate suggestion. All right. Cool. Well, I guess I could say alternately, you could put the Javelin sixes on him if you're someone that wants to put the Mr. Rack eights on Zephyr. Sorry. Throw that in there. I just thought about it late after I backed out. Okay. Um, we're going to do one more. Um, oh, Hanger said he wants to know <laughs> my thoughts on his Hanger. You already got a beefy Hanger, buddy. I've seen yours. You got you got great stuff. <laughs> um, all right. I'm sorry. We'll we'll try to do one more here. I'm gonna turn our volume down once again, and let's see if we can get one more Hanger to look at in here. Oh, whoops! I hit the spin button before I could flip it over. Sorry. <laughs> This is number nine. I thought we did number nine. Did we do nine? Miss Trouble? We didn't? Okay. We didn't. All right. Well, then, let's do nine. All right. Am I back up? Uh, now you are. There you go. <laughs> okay. It's, it's Kaz. It's Kaz. Hey. He asked me about looking at his hanger. I'm like, I hope we can, dude. I'm glad we, we got to look at yours. Awesome. All right. I saw you in chat before, so I know you're here. So feel free to ask a question. Um, and we'll get your ID in here. Go ahead. Yeah. 514-9537. And we, we cheered about It's Kaz because It's Kaz has been um, coming and participating in live streams for a very long time now. Yeah, so he's been thank a, you. a frequent fellow here. And we love having you, dude. 
All right, and he we said, love all think? of you. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. All right, he says, uh, "What do you think I should get since I'm end game?" Um, yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, getting at the point of hitting the edge of end game, right? Uh, I'm trying to rank up my arc ten, my safe speed sixteen, and upgrade my other stuff. Uh, I will say for me, I don't use my Stasis Beam 16 much endgame. I've used it less unless I'm trying to play a specific role with the guys I'm playing with. Um, if they need something that's going to be, you know, that kind of setup or long range, or it's like a long range map like Agora, where, you know, you can pin someone down pretty well long range. I just feel like it's not doing enough in combat where I need it to. Um, but it's not to say it's a bad weapon. I just think it has limited use. Whereas I think for me, I end up using Arc Turret more. Uh, so that would be the one I would go for between those two weapons, if that's what your goal is. Um, so I don't know if he said anything else. Sorry. Uh, what do you think I should? So what you think you should get? Oh, okay. Are you saying like you don't know if you should get the Arc 10 or the Stasis Beam 16? I guess I would say Arc 10 based on what I was just saying there. I couldn't tell if you were saying what you should upgrade or what you should get but yeah um and i said oh try to get the rail gun too definitely the rail gun is everywhere end game <laughs> so you need to have that i will say like rail gun is one of those like high-end priority weapons for end game for many people and and ideally having two of them it doesn't necessarily have to be on one mech but you do see a lot of dual railgun builds end game so you will need that for sure um, I, I will say like I see I always see uh, dual rail guns or, or just seeing two like what's in your on hanger. their brick house uh, looks like long arm eight and ten yeah long arm eight ten okay. which isn't bad yeah that's good for yep. right there for sure um, so if you get lots of practice with your long arms it'll be easier for your rail gun absolutely yeah so the the rail gun is one I always see end game uh rocket mortar 12s those are two definite ones and then we're starting to see a mixture of of what everyone else has in their hangar so there's i see a lot of arc 10s disc launcher 12s uh carbine 12s of course um all the other things you would see at the high end for end game uh is typically there so that's the kind of stuff you start to see yeah oh and i'm sorry and missile rack 12s of course yeah that's starting to creep in now too um yeah all right, cool. I hope that helped, man. Good seeing you. Good, good having you on the on the list too. Love it. All right, uh, that's I think it for tonight, though, man. That's because that's uh, I'm already hitting a little past an hour. Um, I've had a ton of people asking questions, uh, so I'm gonna try to go a little bit up and and just like quickly answer some. I've been considering. Miss Treble actually came up with this idea of doing shorts now where it's just like me answering questions quickly. And you know, I'm terrible at that because I always want to talk forever. But if I can like, you know, skim it down to just say something quickly, like that would be really good, I think, for helping people answer questions. Um, yes, your biggest challenge is going to be doing it quickly. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Yeah, you're so right. I'm terrible at it. <laughs> All right. So like, uh, um, Honors asking, do you think Surge is worthy of Endgame? I did see that. I was actually reading other people's at the same time, so I was trying to like assess a whole bunch. Uh, I do. I think that there are people who I have seen run Surge very effectively at Endgame if they can get the right situation and position. Like he's I, what I consider a very situational mech. Like if you can get in the right position where you can like freeze a bunch of people, do some damage, or you and your teammates can that can be super beneficial, super effective. And that's harder to do with Zephyr just because you have to have everybody move into your position, whereas Surge pushes into the enemy. So there can be a lot of effectiveness there. But because he is otherwise slow and kind of squishy, it's very difficult to use. I think a good Surge player is harder to find than some other mechs for sure. Um, but yeah, it can be effective end game, especially as you hit that end game. I've seen some people do it well. Um, I saw Pegasoup. Uh, sorry, I was reading what he said underneath that. He said, remember when we thought that running two railguns was a conspiracy? And it was. And then came 2020 when we when we could actually do it. Yeah. I know. It's crazy. Crazy stuff. Um, 
I'm just trying to go back up. Uh, are dual carbine eights good on Zephyr? Somebody asked. Yeah, I actually mentioned this one as a decent one uh, on my uh, Zephyr loadout videos just because the optimal range of carbines is close up. So uh, I actually prefer carbine eights over pulse cannon eights on Zephyr, which weirdly enough, the pulse cannon eights are in the Zephyr's achievement list which I would have preferred carbines based on how they play. Just because you're more than likely gonna be freezing someone close up and doing all of that optimal damage with the carbines, which is gonna be better DPS overall than what you get out of pulse cannons, um, even with their beneficial range. So, um, and, you, and it'll kill faster, which is what you need in that EMP window. So I actually think it's a decent weapon on it. Uh, <laughs> I see Kaz, a question. Sorry, it's Kaz said, I wonder if they're gonna do 44 energy max. No. I hope not. <laughs> 32 is already <laughs> enough. I mean, you wouldn't, what'd you even put on it? You can already max it out at like the highest you'd have to, they'd have to make higher energy weapons, which would be insane. But yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Yeah, Trouble, let's, let's hope they don't go down that road. Yeah. Um, I see Darren Chen says, okay, so for his 16 energy Zephyr, should he do missile rack eight or arc six and arc 10? Both are great. Both are great builds to do. Um, you could also do an Arc 10 and a Thermal Lance 6 if you wanted to change it up a little bit. Again, a one that I mentioned on my Zephyr video. Uh, I just think the Dual Missile Rack 8s is one of the best ones for him. It's just very flexible, lets you get super comfortable with how Zephyr plays because that's usually when people unlock him at four or at 16 energy. Um, but I know that Missile Rack 8s are great on so many mechs. So if you have your Missile Rack 8s on like your Kill Shot, uh, an arc 10 six is a great one on Zephyr for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sentry is like, you're all going to end scape with the amount of questions you're asking. Everybody asks me questions, man. That's okay. This is fine. And, and this is what this stream has been about to try and give advice. This one isn't a playing stream where it was doing all that stuff. So I hope this has been, uh, useful for you guys. Um, maybe I'll try to hit a couple more questions. You see a couple good ones in here miss trouble that you thought were good um not really <laughs> okay all right i just saw somebody ask should i upgrade kill shot or panther first and i answered in the chat saying i think probably kill shot yeah to get the the ability boost uh the damage boost for the ability yep yeah i mean I, it can depend on what you have in your hangar what you have available to you but generally speaking, yeah, I think kill shot is usually the one that people upgrade first, and I would agree. So we got yeah, a super chat. Yeah, yeah, super chat. Thank you so much, Raya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, saying that you know she's end game and still learning different things. Well, I appreciate that. I I, I appreciate when I can help people who are still end game. Um, you know, I will say I mostly focus those who are early and intermediate, so I can help them get to end game. That's usually where I specialize, just because that just you know is I think where it's easiest for me to, to give advice and where people need the most advice for playing in this game. So that's why I do it there. All right. Um, Alters also did a super chat. What will, will it be possible to get the new robot in Europe? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it'll probably be the same and available for all of us at the same time. Like I said, though, the only people who have access to it now will be those 10 players. So they, I'm assuming those 10 players who are going to be playing in the tournament will be using Stalker in the tournament. So that's probably why they gave it to them at this point. Um, but that's, I don't know, that's the case. Like I said, I think though, they're trying to get it to us sometime this month. I'm hoping, you know? So I'm hoping we'll see it within the next like couple of weeks even, right? Cause that would be pretty much the rest of this month and before Christmas. Um, so I'm hoping that that's the case. I, it's just finger crossed though. I don't know when it'll actually be, but. All right, uh, maybe I should do right. one more. Hold on, I should go. sorry, what did oh, you sorry. just say? For the, the new mech, we were talking about the new mech. Yeah, did but. you see Artis size um, super chat? Yeah, that's what I was answering, yeah. Okay, good, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> sorry, I was distracted. I just wanna no, make sure you didn't miss that. That's okay, you were probably looking at the, looking at chat to look at other yes. questions. Yeah, I know. <laughs> chat is alive tonight with uh, lots of IDs, lots of uh, Rick Rolls and, and questions. <laughs> well, we hope you guys liked this. Um, we hope to do more, right? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. we know so many of you guys want to 
want to know and get some advice. Um, so um, let us know if you want to do more of these or go back to what we usually do and play. Yeah, we did have a few people I know in chat who said, like, do some custom matches. Uh, we definitely will be going back to that next week. And this week actually will be a, yeah, it's a giveaway week. So we'll have a giveaway video coming out soon. Um, and uh, we'll do giveaway and matches like we did previously uh, in other weeks and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, there'll be times when we can do this hanger stuff for sure. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so look for the giveaway. That'll be this week. Mm -hmm. And then the winners on Saturday. And then um, we won't have any stream on the weekend after Christmas. Yeah, yeah. After yeah, after next week, we'll probably take a week off. I don't know if we'll end up... I, I don't know where how long we'll be with family. I don't know if it'll be probably two weeks, possibly, uh, given that New Year's is right around the corner, too. Um, so there might be a couple weeks where we're off, but next week, we'll, we still plan to be here doing our giveaway stuff and just playing and having fun, like always. So it'd be awesome if we had Stalker by then so we could talk about him. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. I have no idea. But, yeah, keep your fingers crossed. Uh, I, I don't know. I just saw this from Honor Gaming. He said, uh, I think the real hero here is Miss Treble. Everyone should let her know how we appreciate her. We do. Aww. She's amazing. Thank you. Dealing with all of you crazy people in chat. She's so good. <laughs> <laughs> now we love you guys. And Miss Treble, of course. Yes, we love you. <laughs> so, I uh, yeah. You guys are really, you're fantastic. You're a great group of people. And this community is just amazing. Yeah, it really We're is. very blessed. Mm-hmm. I know I had fun, even though it was a different kind of stream tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. I hope that was helpful information for everybody. And uh, we'll probably get to do this again sometime if we didn't get to look at your hanger. So be on the lookout for that. But as we say, always, I hope you all have a good night. And we'll see you out there on the battlefield.